Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pleasant good morning to all our Facebook friends and viewers this morning. We are the New Creation Ministry and we are coming to you live this morning with our Sunday morning praise and worship service. Amen. It's truly an honor and a privilege to have fellowship with you this morning. We truly thank God that we can come wheresoever you may be this morning, whether it be home, at your job, wheresoever it may be this morning. Amen. We are glad to have fellowship with you this morning. Amen. A pleasant good morning to all those that are in-house this morning. It's truly an honor and a privilege that we can come together and lift up the name of Jesus this morning. Amen. So this morning, I invite you all this morning, come, let us go before the throne room of grace and usher the presence of God in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you glory, O oh Lord. We magnify your name. We glorify your name, Jehovah God. For who's like unto thee? There is none like thee, O oh Lord. All glorious in holiness, fearful in praise this morning, doing great and mighty wonders. You are awesome, God, this morning. The God that never fail. The God that is true. The God that makes the impossible possible this morning. Oh, Father, we come by here this morning to lift up your name, to exalt your name, to give you the highest praise this hour. For you alone deserve it. You alone, you alone deserve it this morning. Father, as we come, oh God, we acknowledge thee this morning. 
morning 
and we are coming to you with our praise and our worship service this morning. It's truly an honor and privilege to have you with us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 This morning, my God, we want to hear from God this morning. Amen. So continue to give him praise. God's ways and God's thoughts that has been higher than man's 
Hallelujah. And I'm saying hallelujah. That God will will and God's thought it is higher than man's ways and higher than man talks. Hallelujah. But I want you to understand that this idea it is connected with the idea of, of, of pardon from God. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. With the idea of pardon from God. So it means I want you to understand hallelujah. In the midst of a dying world and the, my God, the effects of sin. My God, the effects of sin. Mm -hmm. And we know what sin is, is a transgression against the laws of God. Amen. Sin has transgressed against God. And I want you to understand, my God, what sin has done, it makes, my God, every man or every woman that is born into this world, they are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So it means that they were born or being born a transgressor against God. They are born, my God, being an offender to God. Hallelujah. They are born with a nature to bring injury to God. Hallelujah. So somebody, I want you to understand that this idea of God's ways and God's talk is being higher than man. It is connected to the ideas of, of pardon from God. It means we ought to live this life seeking God's pardon at all times and learning how we praise the name of the Lord and learning how also to give pardon. Can somebody praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can somebody praise the, praise the Lord? Now tell your Bible to me for those of you who are under the reach of my voice and those that are here, tell your Bible to me to Isaiah 55. Praise the name of the Lord. We will read from Isaiah 55 from verses 6 on to verses 9. Praise the name of the Lord. Isaiah 55 from verses 6 on to verses 9. Praise the name of the Lord. And my God, uh, you know, I told the folks this morning in La Hokita, praise the name of the Lord. My God, they, they um, wish that they could have get the uh, continued edition of the, the message that I started up there this morning. But I, I told them, I said, look, I will have to continue down here. But, you know, as I um, as I came here, the Spirit of God told me that you need, praise the name of the Lord, also to receive from the beginning of the message. So, um, Mahokita, you are not losing out on anything. And um, yes, we will have it on YouTube. You are not losing out on anything. But I want you to know that this message will continue over a period of time because, praise the name of the Lord, there isn't much for us to understand about God's ways and God's thoughts. Praise the Lord. So we want to look at Isaiah. For those of you who have, my God, praise the name of the Lord. I'm reading Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 6 on the verse 9. And the Bible reads here, Seek ye the Lord whilst he may be found. Call upon him whilst he is yeah. dead. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man is, and the unrighteous man is, thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, hallelujah, and let him return, and praise the name of the Lord, I want you to look at that word, the return, you can only return to something that you, my God, that you were once there, praise the name of the Lord. So, 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 my God, so the Bible is saying here, let him return unto the Lord, hallelujah, and he, God, will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will do what? He will abundantly pardon. So somebody, I told you just now, hallelujah, that the idea of God's ways and God's thoughts is higher than man's ways and man's thought it is being linked to pardon. Can someone say pardon? And pardon is so necessary. My God, in this time, come on to God. Pardon, come on to God. If you want to have the blessings of God, you have to have the pardon of God. Amen. If you want to have, my God, if you want to have victory over your circumstances, you ought to have the pardon of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so, so it's a link. And the idea here is connected to pardon. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at verse 8. God said, and my thoughts are not what? Your thoughts. Neither are your ways 
my ways, say the Lord. For as the heaven, verse 9, for as the heavens are high, higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your and my thoughts than your thoughts. So what you see here is God is saying, Hallelujah. He said, My ways is higher than your ways. My thought is higher than your thought. He said, Turn away from your ways and adopt my ways. Turn away from your thoughts. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. And adopt my thoughts. Hallelujah. And God is saying, it, I am going to pardon. Praise the name of the Lord. If you do that, I am going to pardon. I am going to have mercy. And I am going to bless you. Hallelujah. To somebody praise the name of the Lord. This is the reason why I'm saying that the time that we are living in, my God, it is a time, hallelujah, for us to turn away from our ways, from our thoughts, and my God, and accept the ways of God, accept the thoughts of God, hallelujah. And I want you to understand that God will abundantly pardon, hallelujah. But what is the difference between your ways and God's ways? What is the difference between our ways and God's ways? Now listen, I may not be able, I would like to look first at six, uh, about approximately six aspects. Praise the name of the Lord, but we may be able to look at three. We may be able to look at two. Praise the name of the Lord. But my God, hallelujah. I want you to understand hallelujah. My God, we are looking at, at, at God's God's ways and thoughts that is higher than ours. Praise the name of the Lord. My God. If you look at the first man, one I got pardon. And God said, I will pardon. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, people never will have planned the pardon for their enemies. People don't plan the my God, that is the behavior of man. They don't plan my God pardon for their enemies as God did for us. Praise the name of the Lord. And my God, what am I saying? I want you to understand we were born being enemies to God. Amen. But God, He planned our pardon. Human beings, we seek revenge on all such. Hallelujah. And we have our malice, we have our hatred. My God, where is God's plan of redemption? Where is God's plan of redemption and untold glories for his enemies? Hallelujah. I want you to understand, my God, when we will have when we will have a malice and hatred, hallelujah, because of our ways and, and because of our talk, hallelujah, what God do it is he planned redemption. He planned redemption and and, and untold and untold glories. Hallelujah. For his enemies. Hallelujah. So my God, you are seeing the opposite here. Hallelujah. My God, God, listen, listen, my when we talk about the enemies of God, I want you to understand that each of us, we were born being enemies of God. Amen. A man that is born of a woman, he's born in what? Sin and his shape and how? In iniquity. And my God, sin is transgression against God. Sin offends God. Come on, somebody. And somebody, I want you to understand, we in our own ways and our own thoughts, my God, we will not plan pardon for our enemies. What we will plan? We will plan how we can hurt our enemies. Come on, somebody. We will plan, my God, what we can do to make our enemies look bad. What we can do to make, my God, our enemies suffer. But somebody, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, he demanded God thoughts and his ways is not our ways. What God does or what God did for his enemy and is still doing for enemies, hallelujah, is he have given a plan redemption, hallelujah. My God, not only redemption, my God, the glories that God that my God put in place. And I'm saying the glories that God has put in place, not only for St. Rose who accepted him, or you who have accepted him, but my God, for even all those who are living in sin, come on to mind, who are offending God, God has placed, my God, glories there for them. If you look at me in 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 in, 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 in St. John 3 and verse 16, a scripture that we love a lot. St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. St. John 3 and verse 16. It's a scripture that pre 
scriptures love to quote. And the scripture is a scripture that you love or we love a lot. Praise the name of the Lord. But the Bible reads it in St. John 3 and verse 16. Jesus said, For God so loved who? He loved how many persons? The world that he gave his only begotten son. That whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? But have what? Now what is the operating word there? Praise the what is the operating word there in that verse or in that sentence if you want to put it that way? Praise the name of the Lord. My God, yes, my God. We see for God so loved the world. My God, he loved everyone. He loved, praise the name of the Lord, those who offended him and those, my God, who, praise the name of the Lord, have become a friend to him. And I want you to understand, even those who have become a friend to God, hallelujah, there are times that he offends God. Hallelujah. Which one of you, my God, which one of you, my God, which one of you here don't sin? If you don't sin, raise your hand. And if you raise your hand, I will tell you to put up your hands. Because I want you to understand we commit sin in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds. Come on, somebody. But I want you to understand, listen to this about it. My God, even those who have become friends of God, there are times in their thoughts, in their words, in their deeds of sin. Hallelujah. I got the need, praise the name of the Lord, the need God pardon, the need God forgiveness. This is why I always tell people when you rise up in the morning, your first prayer should be, Father, forgive me for the many sins that I've committed against you in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. Hallelujah. But somebody, God taught, is so higher than our thought that my God, even though we, we my God, we may sin, hallelujah, in our lives from time to time, I want you to understand, he loved all of us. He loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever, can someone say whomsoever? That whomsoever, can someone say whomsoever? Whomsoever they mean, my God, whether you are my enemy or you are my friend. Somebody I am. Whether you are my enemy or you are my friend, whomsoever believe it, hallelujah, whomsoever believe it in my son, who I give for you, hallelujah, should not perish, but have everlasting life. What are we reading there? It is that God don't want no, my God, no one to perish. Whether you are an enemy or whether you are a friend of God, I want you to understand God is looking out for you. Hallelujah! Amen. I can't listen to somebody. The time that we are living in, if we learn, come on, somebody, to adopt that mind of God, by God, we will save ourselves a little stress. Somebody, are you listening? Because, my God, if we have a malice and we have our hatred and my God in our hearts I want you to understand it can only subtract it can only take away from you it can only rub you hallelujah but somebody called hallelujah oh yes the God of the Savior hallelujah he provided for his friends and for his enemy the second my God the second the second and hallelujah the second my God thing that we would like to look at it is a God in uh, hallelujah hallelujah in, 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 in my God he, 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 he pardoned my God nuts come on somebody according to numbers in numbers of according to numbers of offenses according to numbers of offenses what does that mean when you listen my God to people sometimes they tell you, listen to me, my God. I, 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 I pardon, I, I pardon him once, and I pardon him twice, but he's overdoing it now. I am not going to pardon him a third time because I feel if I pardon him a third time, oh my God, it will open the door for him, my God, for him, my God, to, to hurt me. Come on, somebody. But somebody, I want you to understand, hallelujah, that God don't pardon according to number of offenses. Hallelujah. You see, my God, under favorable, and we know that, praise the name of the Lord, that under favorable and special circumstances, people forgive a few times, but they are prone not to forgive after repeated offenses. Hallelujah. My God. 
God, you know, yes, we will forgive a few times. But my God, if it continues to repeat, I want you to understand we begin, my God, to make our own decision. But somebody, God, he forgives freely. He forgives freely many times. As, as, as completely and lovingly the, the last time as the first. Hallelujah. What does that mean? I want you to understand when God forgives, He don't look, come on somebody, at my God, how many times you do it. He looks, come on somebody, He forgive you as at the first time that you ask for forgiveness. Hallelujah. How many of us, my God, have the mind and the thoughts of God? Hallelujah. Somebody, I want you to know the time that we are living in, it called my God for that attitude. It called my God for that way of thinking. Listen, listen, man. It is important that I take you through the scripture so that I can give you a little insight of what I'm talking about. Look at me, Matthew chapter 12. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 12. And this is three. Hallelujah. Matthew 12 and this is three. In the book of Matthew chapter 12 and verse 3, hallelujah, Jesus said there, Matthew 12, 7 and verse 31, praise the name of the Lord, verse 31, I apologize, praise the name of the Lord for that, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 31, praise the name of the Lord, Jesus said there, he said, wherefore I say unto you, wherefore I say unto you, all what? Manner of sin and what? And blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven unto men. Oh my God. My God, listen to somebody. And my God, for those of you under the reach of my voice, and the folks that are here, I see people looking up in the Bible soon. Because my God, you, you wonder, my God, the same God that we are saying, He's a forgiving God and He forgives for everything. He's saying here now that there is one sin that he don't forgive before. He's saying that there is one sin that my God, and some people take that and they use it, my God, to justify why they are not forgiven. Because, my God, because they say, well, God, hallelujah, said, my God, I want you to understand, forgiveness come to repentance, amen. God is so what the repentance of the salvation. And I want you to understand because, my God, forgiveness comes to repentance, God will not, my God, refrain or refuse to forgive or pardon someone who is repenting. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody, I listen to me. But I want you to understand, my God, it's important that I explain because I have, my God, I have the international praise and viewers looking at me right now. And it's important that I explain, praise the name of the Lord, that because I don't leave anyone. My God, with the thought that if God do not forgive who those who blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, that there are some things that I don't have to forgive for. Praise the name of the Lord. If someone come to me and ask me for forgiveness. But I want you to understand when you study that scripture, when you study that verse, that is Matthew chapter 12, and verses 31, you will see God, and praise the name of the Lord, that Jesus the Savior, praise the name, that God will forgive all the sin other than the sin that is blasphemed against the Holy Ghost. Why? Why blasphemy against the Holy Ghost is not forgiven? Because blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost means that you have already condemned yourself. Amen. And somebody may ask Pastor Simple, what do you mean by that? Because I want you to understand, hallelujah, that you can only go to God to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And if you curse the Holy Spirit, it means, my God, you are never in your heart willing to go to God. Amen. Amen. And my God, so as a result of that, you have already condemned yourself. You don't need any forgiveness because you have already condemned yourself. Amen. Amen. So this is the reason why the Bible teaches that only one sin that God can, and this is about it, not just he will not, he cannot forgive that sin. Somebody, Mr. Pastor, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Or you mean that God, are you saying that God, there are things that God cannot do? Yes, mm -hmm. in the Bible there are things that God cannot do. And my God, I stand right now, praise the name of the Lord. And my God, international theologians is, is listening to us right now. There are things in the Bible that God cannot do. And I want you to understand, let us look at the first thing that God cannot do. God, he cannot lie. 
God, he got it light. Come on, somebody. And I want you to understand, listen to somebody, to be able to go to God, or if you want to even go to Christ, you have to go to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. My God, listen to somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the reason why the Bible teaches, as much as I led by you, the Spirit of God, they are the so if the Bible is saying that all the promises of God, they are yet, amen. And the Bible is saying you must be led by the Spirit, hallelujah, to, to, to be called a son of God, I want you to understand, not even God can change that, hallelujah. hallelujah. Why God cannot change that? My God, want to say, Pastor Simon, but God is God. God, why God cannot change that? My God, if, if, if God change that, if God change that, he make himself a liar. If God changes that, he makes himself alive. Why did he make himself alive? Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible teaches that the heavens and the earth will do up, will pass away, but not one judge or not one thing of God's word is going to pass with it. Hallelujah. It means the word of God cannot be changed. Come on, somebody. So somebody, hallelujah, for you to, to be identified or be marked as a son of God, you must be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And my God, if you're cursing the Spirit and you don't want to believe the Spirit of God who is able to lead to God, then you will remain in your sin and you will die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, I listen to me. Amen. I listen to me. Amen. So it's important to note when God said only one sin, hallelujah, he cannot forgive. My God, and I'm saying he cannot forgive. Somebody may say he will not forgive. But if you look or you study, you will see, my God, it is a sin that he cannot forgive. Because if he, can, if he forgive that sin, he will make himself a liar. Can someone say praise the Lord? But you know what I love? Hallelujah. My God, Jesus said, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be given, shall be forgiven, shall be forgiven unto men. Hallelujah. Yeah. So my God, listen to somebody. If you blaspheme, if you blaspheme my God against a man of God, you know that if you blaspheme against Jesus, you are still forgiven. You know if you blaspheme against Jesus, you are still given. You are still forgiven. I want you to understand, you will see that in the Bible also. The Bible teaches that the, if you blaspheme against the Son of God, you will be forgiven. But if you blaspheme, it's against the Holy Spirit. Who is able to lead you unto Jesus Christ and lead you to God? Hallelujah. If you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you will not be forgiven. Hallelujah. Because why? You already condemn yourself. Somebody, my God, praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is our example. Amen? Yeah. And Jesus is our example. Amen? Yeah. I want to go a little deeper. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ went to be baptized by a child. And the Bible teaches, praise the name of the Lord, that after his baptism, there was an initiation that had to take place before he was identified as the Son of God. And what happened after that? The Bible said when he came out of the water, what happened first? There was a, a, a dove that came and do what? And lit it on him. And my God, and that dove represented who? The Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. But what happened from the moment that dove, hallelujah, lit it on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? What happened after that? The Bible said the heavens, from the heavens, there was a voice that came from the heavens saying, then what? This is now my beloved son in whom I am well what? I'm pleased, hallelujah. I'm pleased because somebody, hallelujah. My God, the very Holy Spirit, my God, was accepted. Can someone talk praise the Lord? So somebody, my God, if Jesus or anyone did not or not willing to accept the Holy Spirit and you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you have condemned yourself for hell. Hallelujah. Oh my God, somebody, are you listening to me? So it's important that I clear that up because, my God, I don't want you to go and say, the, 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 the bishop said that God will forgive all sin, but yet still he said that there was one sin he will not forgive. Come on, somebody. That one sin, it is the sin that handled of condemning yourself. Can someone talk praise the Lord? I want you to look at me also in, in Acts chapter 18, verses 21 to 22. Folks, remember we had a teaching church. 
wherever you might be in the Christian ministry, we teach. We teach Sundays and we teach, my God, anytime we get to teach. So praise the name of the Lord. So we love teaching. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you sit highly in the pews of the Christian ministry, you must come here to learn. Amen. Amen. You must have your Bibles. And you, if you don't have your Bibles, we'll give you one. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But you are here to learn and to grow in the things of God. Can someone tell praise, praise the Lord? So we are looking at Matthew chapter 18, verses 21. Praise the name of the Lord. To 22, verses 21 and 22. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible reads in Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him. Till seven, till how many times? Seven times. Seven times. You see, listen, when Peter thought, Peter by God, Peter believed that seven times was enough to forgive your brother. And after that, he declared war on him. Come on, somebody. It is like sometime, my God, we forgive over a period of time. And after that, you begin to become, my God, you begin to become this defensive. And your defense, my God, is saying, listen to my God. I am, my God, I am I'm going and, 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 and make sure that that don't happen to me again. Come on, somebody. But somebody, Peter, is saying that, he said, Lord, should I forgive him till seven times? But what Jesus said to him, Jesus said of him, he said, I say not unto you until seven times. Jesus immediately made that clear. He said, listen to me, that is what you're thinking. That is your thought. That is your, my God. That is the way you feel you should go. That is what Jesus was saying there. But Jesus goes on to say, he said, on my God, he said, but, look at that conjunction there. He said, but, until how many times? Until how many times? Seventy times. How much? Seven times. My God, could, my God, could, could a man, could a man, could a man, um, could a man offend, offend a man seventy times, seven times? Could you offend a man seventy times, seven times? My God, you have to be living. My God, even if you're living with that man, even when I say you're living with that man, let me clear that up, please. If you're living in the same house, come on, because some people might take that wrong. If you're living in that same house with that person, my God, it is hard for them to offend you 70 times 7. Somebody, I listen to me. I can't hold you to answer. It means, my God, it means something wrong with that person, and that person really needs help. Amen. If a person offends you 70 times, seven, don't look at that fault. See what does that person need. Amen. Because it means that person has something or some problem that they need help. Come on, somebody. And you must find the way and how to help them. My God, so that they will be a better person in society. Amen. Now, I'm not saying that some people are miserable. I'm not saying, listen, listen, but the Bible teaches, you know, if it is possible, live, if it is possible, live peaceably with all men. <laughs> because if I'm some men will chuck you and stick you, and some woman, my God, some woman, they will, my God, they will say, I am, my God, I did some, I did some, some, or I had some cases to deal with. I had some cases to deal with. My God, when you look at the one of the workers, Send notes to the other person, and even because my God, because they have access to the the, the, the same things, and listen, and what they are doing, and how they are doing it, they are doing it so clean that it's hard for the person to say a secret. One worker, my God, lose her mind, and she started to, she started, my God, she started to lose her mind, and as a result of losing her mind on the job, I have to represent her because why? They stopped paying her because she had to go into a mental institute. And I have to be able to prove that, my God, and what happened, it happened on the job. So as a result of that, she should be compensated. And the employers did compensate her. But somebody, I want you to understand, my God, my, I want you to understand, there are people who can send you back. But I want you to know, praise me, Jesus is saying here, he said, but until 70 times 7. I want you to know, when you look sometime and you see what is going on with that person, I want you to know, my 
part of something the individual needs to be helped. Hallelujah! But children of God, this is the reason why God said, my thoughts is higher than your thoughts. And my ways is higher than your ways. Because sometimes we preachers, listen to somebody, sometimes we preachers can stand up and preach on the altar. But I want you to understand sometimes you yourself is being confronted with it. And you, my God, you, my God, can deal with it the wrong way. Somebody listen to me. But this is the reason why, hallelujah, studying the word of God and most important, applying the word of God, hallelujah, to your life is most important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, set the time set. If you look, praise the name of the Lord, like that time, praise the name of the Lord, that clock is correct. Praise the name of the Lord. Deacon, your, your cup is good. Your time is good. So I can look at your time. You can look at the time. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the Lord. So praise the name of the Lord. So we we, we back out because of this. Praise the name of the Lord. Look, look at me in, 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 in first gen to the one and this is nine. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking at at Malachi. We are looking at the numbers of offenses. We we will lose our mind. And we lose our mind based on the number of offenses. And most listen to my, I want you to understand that most of the problems that we have today, most of the problems we have today is a result of that. Sometimes, my God, sometimes good, good people, good, good people, my God, they have made mistakes and errors in their lives. I want you to understand, and because of all human nature, and we all to all the errors that they make, I want you to understand, and maybe, praise the name of the Lord, I'm saying maybe, they may have an intention to change for the good, and to become, my God, a good person. But because of all the offense, because of all the, the, all the offense that they committed against us, they injure us. We become, my God, we have an injury and a scar. That my God, that every time, my God, that every time you think about giving them a chance, you see the scar. And somebody, I want you to understand that has destroyed a lot of good people. Come on, somebody. It has destroyed, my God, a lot of good friendships. It has destroyed a lot of good relationships. Come on, somebody. Why? Because, my God, because of a scar. And listen to somebody. These things do scar you. These things do scar you. So, praise the name of the Lord. This is the reason why there are some people that we sent to EAP, which we call employees of employees and uh, uh, assistant programs and that my God to, to help them because they are scam and my God some of them have genuine and good reason for being scam but somebody I want you to understand my God God wants us to adopt his thoughts hallelujah when you adopt the thoughts of God and you're walking in the righteousness of God you don't need that I'm saying my God I say walking in the righteousness of God that is another preach of, that is another message by itself Walking in the righteousness of God don't mean that you're the perfect man. Eh? We are striving to perfection, amen. But walking in the righteousness of God, it is when you're walking in faith and believing God. Somebody say, Pastor Sandro, what are you saying? Come on, somebody. That don't mean that you have all rights to go and do. Somebody wanna say it is an imperfect man. We all sin in thoughts and words and deeds, amen. amen. I'm talking about sinning here, not, I'm not talking about presumption of sin, amen. I'm talking about sins that you will sin against God and you're not even aware that you are sinning against Him. Come out, somebody. And my God, there are sins you commit and you're not even aware. You're piling up your name in the book of remembrance. You're piling up your name. Listen to somebody. You have sins there that sometimes if you, if you die, you die and you split hell open. Because why? You never ask forgiveness for those sins. Because when you ask for forgiveness for those sins, your name is now moved. From the book of remembrance and it's been placed in the book of life. Come on, somebody. So this is the reason why we all just go before God and we ask God for forgiveness for those sins. Praise the name of the Lord. But somebody will want you to understand those sins also that piles up on us. And my God, I'm to ascend the righteousness of God. Let me so declare that again because I'm uh, I, 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 I for one moment there I lose my way because I forgot that I am on international and and the television and praise the name of the Lord. You need to clear these things up because you have theologians out there. Praise the name of the Lord. When I talk about the righteousness of God here, and I said, Praise the name of the Lord a while ago, that is not according to your works. It is not praise the name of the Lord of how perfect you are in the things that you do on a daily basis. 
I want to praise the name of the Lord. I want to go a little deeper for the theologians that are out there and those that are under the reach of my voice. Abraham, our father Abraham, Abraham was a man like us. Amen. Amen. You believe that? Abraham was a man like us. Amen. And Abraham, he made a lot of mistakes. Amen. You have heard that Abraham made a lot of mistakes? But the Bible teaches that Abraham was a righteous man. Where did he get that from? Huh? He believed God. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches that Abraham's faith was accounted unto him for what? Righteousness. So why? By God. Why Abraham's faith was accounted unto him for righteousness? My God, listen to somebody. If you really don't have faith in God, it's better, my God, if you don't have faith in God, it's better you pack up. It's better you can serve the devil and then and go to heaven. Because faith in God, even my God, even if you fall, you are not utterly cast down. Because you believe, hallelujah, that God is going to give his angels charge over you to keep you and bring you right back up where you ought to be. Hallelujah. And somebody, my God, this is the heart that God wants us to have. He wants us to have a heart in believing him. Hallelujah. My God, my God, don't believe. That my God, if, if you are being offended by someone over and over again, mm -hmm. that my God, that person will continue to hurt you. I want you to understand that person might become your best friend. Amen, amen. That person, my God, you know, you know, Bob Marley sing a song. And the Bob Marley sing a song, Bob Marley was a very inspirational fellow. But my God, he did not, he did not, my God, I'm the international news. Let me don't say what I was about to say. <laughs> but Bob Marley was a very inspirational guy, but. Um, it's unfortunate, as you say, more as um, as uh, the, the fortunate of his passing. And uh, I know, praise the name of the Lord, why he's so unfortunate. But my God, you know, you know, you, but my said one time, he said, your worst enemy can become what? Your best friend. Listen to somebody. When your worst enemy becomes your best friend, your worst enemy is watch, watch your back. Your worst enemy is what my God. Your worst enemy, your, your once worst enemy, who become your best friend. I want you to understand, my God, sometimes you can never have a better friend than that. Amen. Amen. But how my God, and, and that is my God, it's all about faith. It's about the faith. So what is the faith there? The faith is not what you are seeing, but the faith is what you believe. Come on, somebody. I believe, praise the name of the Lord, that God is able to turn your life around and that you will see, praise the name of the Lord, and that you will see, my God, that you will see me to be different. Come on to God. I, I, I may not understand what, I may not understand fully what you're feeling and what you're seeing. Come on to God. But I pray, hallelujah, that, that you reach to that place, that you will see me, my God, to be who I am in Christ. Hallelujah. Can someone say, praise the Lord? But the, the, our last scripture verse, you know, praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Our last scripture verse. If we confess our sins, he is what? Faithful and just to know what? To forgive our sins and to cleanse us from what? From all unrighteousness. Now, you see the word, un, you see the word righteousness coming up there again. But you have seen unrighteousness. And that unright, my God, that unrighteousness there, it don't speak about your perfection based on your works. Because if God had, if God were judging you right now based on your perfection and your works, all of us would have, all of us would have been going to hell. Amen. Somebody, I listen. Amen. But that unrighteousness there, it is your faith in God. It is you knowing, Hallelujah, that what God say He will do. You know that all the promises of God, they are yea and they are amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Can someone tell praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. My God, if you go back to the original scripture that we read, you will see, hallelujah, it speaks about the promise of God. The praise the name of the Lord. And somebody, I want you to understand, hallelujah, I want to encourage you, wherever you are, under the reach of my voice, those that are here and those that are international, I want you to praise the name of the Lord to, in this time that we are living in. My God, crave and, and adapt to yourself the, 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 the ways of God, the thoughts of God. Hallelujah. And my God, I cannot continue. Praise the name of the Lord now, but we will continue this message on Sunday. So those of you, praise the name of the Lord. If you want the continuation of this message, all of this 
part of the message will be on Facebook. But if you want to continue sort of this message, we have a lot to talk about the, 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 the ways and the heart of God. If you want it, then you need to be online, you need to be streaming, or you need to be in the church on next Sunday. Because we will continue this message. Maybe we may continue it on Thursday. So if we continue on Thursday, you'll be missing out. And maybe we will do it on Sunday. Amen. Amen. I don't know what the Lord will tell me. Amen. Amen. But what I want you to know is that you ought to be in season and out of season. So that according to one religion, always say, be in season and out of season, that you may catch the right season. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So at this point in time, because of our time, praise the name of the Lord. Because of our time, we have to get ready to go in, praise the Lord, to the other part of our service. But before we go into the other part of the service, we want again and some out to all those that are under the reach of our voice internationally. Know that we love you. We can not have be able here. The New Christian Ministries. Pray the name of the Lord as we say to you and we say to you now again. If this ministry is a blessing to you, don't um, don't hesitate to be a blessing to the ministry. Pray the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. We have given our um, account number. We have given um, you the name of the ministry, the New Christian Ministry. We have told you that we are back in the first citizens back. Praise the Lord. You have the, the, the number. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't have it right now here to just call the number and I don't have it in my hand. Praise the Lord. But we will again announce the number on Thursday. And we want you, you can feel free. The ministry is a blessing to you. You want this gospel to go further throughout the world and continue. Praise the name of the Lord. And that many more persons will be blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Be a blessing to the new Christian ministry. God bless you. We love you. Praise the name of the Lord. God, richest blessings be upon each of you. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody shout. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. God bless you.